Now this, this is real. This is living, fellas. This is living. So I gotta admit, I'm struggling. Everything is so interesting. It's almost like you're, I, I'm honestly, I'm overwhelmed with what I'm seeing. It's really hard for me to pick one or two things to photograph and really create, create a photograph instead of taking a picture, which is fine. You know, the landscape is going to speak for itself. Any of these pictures are, are so unique to me that I'm, I'm gonna be happy with what I come home with. But I think we always want to get that, we always want to get that shot, right? We want that one shot. I honestly, I don't feel like it's gonna happen right now. And that's okay if it doesn't happen right now. I've got all day here, I've got all night here, and tomorrow morning. I've got all the memories, but I want the photograph. <laughs> I had to make the decision and put the video camera down because I could I could not focus on anything but trying to get video, trying to get pictures, and it just as soon as I put the video camera down, I was able to actually figure out what I was looking at. So I apologize for not being able to bring you and walk you through the compositions and whatnot. But I had to get some pictures. Go grab some food. I've got another big hike coming up here in a couple hours. So, we are still exploring the Bistai Badlands. All right, so for breakfast this morning, we've got oatmeal, hash browns. Now, I went to boil water for this little meal, checked out the directions, and it comes with a heating pad, and it says put any kind of water in it. So, I don't know what kind of chemicals are in there. Let's check this out. So this is the this is the bag it comes in. And then it comes with your food pouch. So the food's in here. And then this this is the heating pad. Put the food in the food bag. Then we'll add the water. Now this is where it's going to get interesting. So we've got the water in, we've got the food in. Now we're going to put the heating pouch and this water is not boiled. This is straight straight from the the gallon. Give it a little shake. There it goes, steaming away. The real test is how long after I eat this do I have to, uh, you know. <laughs> What's the verdict? It's good. Like something though, it's almost like Chef Boyardee and potatoes mixed. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's a little small, but it gets the job done.
So I'm on the hunt for a formation known as um, the stone wings or the bisty wings. So we're gonna head into this rock garden here <laughs> and see if we can find them. So this is known as the manta ray wing. But that's the thing, is there's all these little spots that are deemed to check out. But I can't stress it enough, if you come here, just, just go on your own adventure. I just made it to the section known as the stone wings. I got one right up here behind me and a couple more over here. But that that sight just hit me square in the nose. So you walk all through this basin here, all the way back through all the hoodoos and it turns into a, you know, you're, you're in a canyon, a small canyon, but like still a canyon. You turn the final corner and boom, you're hit with this view. I'll put the picture up on the screen for you now. Wow. So I'm going to hang out here for a minute, rehydrate, have, have some peanuts, and then I think I'm going to go to a little hoodoo area over there. <laughs> it never stops. I could spend forever out here. It's pretty tough, to be honest. So I'm so conditioned to the tripod slowing down. I'm not used to having this much to see in one area. I mean, it's just so much. So what I've done is thrown it onto aperture priority mode and I'm just firing away. And you know what, they don't look half bad. So, nothing real proper, but man, spectacular. <sighs> see what the rest of the day brings. In the middle of the day, that sun is throwing some serious heat. Luckily we got a little bit of a cross breeze right now, but still there's no shade. So what we've done is taken our tent, lifted one end over here, so we still have the shade, and then we've got the cross breeze coming through. So it's not terrible, to be honest. It is warm, but my number one concern is getting sunburnt. So I've probably applied, I don't know, bottle and a half of sunscreen or close to it maybe a full bottle but I haven't got burned yet so we're doing all right
So as our time here in the Bistai Badlands is coming to an end, just taking a time lapse of the storm rolling through and our last sunset here. So very uncharacteristic in the way of photography the last couple days. I basically kept it on aperture priority mode and just fired away. So we'll see if I can grab one or two that I'm really, really happy with. I do think I got one or two. Next time I see you, we will be in Utah. So keep an eye out for that. And I hope everyone's doing well. Thanks. I wonder if our tent is still there. I know she's probably holding it down pretty good. We got plenty of stuff in there. Oh, I'm gonna feel real bad if it blew away on her though. Come back and there's junior mints across the desert. Gummy worms, airheads.